Well, hey YouTube, so today guys, we are back here with another exciting review, and today we have a review here. This is the Philips Norelco 1000 Trimmer Series, guys. Here's a closer look at the product for you. I'm really excited to be making this review for you. I'm not somebody who's really ever had to deal with nose trimmings in the past, but recently I've started to notice it, it's, it started to tickle me a little bit, and I wanted to jump on the train with this product, guys. I didn't want to spend a lot of money, it's not really a major problem, but something that's really more of an inconvenience that I've noticed over time. And especially as you get older, it becomes something that becomes a little bit more prevalent than when you're younger. So here is the product, guys, I'm excited to review it. It comes in at a very cheap price, it's just $12.99 on Amazon. So you know you're getting yourself a good deal here because you're not really spending much money and stuff like that. So let's open this up. Let's see what you get in the package for $12.99 and let's take a look here. So there's a couple of small pieces. Some of it came out already because I have used the product in before. You have this. This product here is used to clean the bristles of the nose trimmer. So if you need this piece right here, that means you're using it to clean the nose trimmings. You have this piece here as well. This piece is really useful for protecting the nose trimmer while it's on the go. So if you need to take it anywhere, now you know how to take it on the go more efficiently. And besides that guys, besides the nose trimmer itself, you also get a double way battery. I have it in there, so I'll pop it out for you so you can kind of see it for yourself. And you have an instruction manual in there as well. So guys, when it's time to take off the battery cover and get to the battery, make Make sure the product is facing the two arrows here. So zero mode, zero means the product is off, like that, and then one means the product is on. Sorry, wrong way. So that You see how one means the product is on, and zero means off, and then this means opening up the battery, guys, and that's what we're going to do right now. So even with this kind of selected here, it still requires some force, it's not as easy as one, two, three, you gotta put some force, but after you do it a few times, it gets a little bit easier over time, as you can see here. And just like that, the single AA battery is revealed. And what's great here, guys, is that the AA battery comes in the box, which is very nice, so that means you don't have to go out and purchase your own. It comes with a nice major brand, Philips, everybody knows Philips, whether it's the Philips CDI or the Philips uh, printers and stuff like that. Everybody knows Philips, guys. They're very popular with their camera technology and stuff like that. Anyway, that's not important. So you're gonna pop the battery in like this, guys. And uh, just like that, the battery's back in play here. And then you just take the case here. You're gonna line up the two lines or arrows that are pointing to each other like that. And you're gonna put it in like that. It's just like that, guys. The product is sealed up. We're gonna turn it back to zero. So we know the product is ready to be transported and the back of the cover or the cover here will not fall off. So now it's time to turn on the product. There's only one setting, it's just, it's just on. There's no different speeds or anything like that. You're just gonna turn this to the one side right here, like that. And just like that guys, the product is on, has a nice long battery, this will last a while. And yeah, I mean, it's it's time to start using it, I guess. I mean, I have used it, but I won't use it again for you. You're gonna stick it in your ear, like this. And you know, when you're doing this, make sure you don't knock into any walls on your ear or your nose. You can do it a little bit, but don't go too crazy. You don't have to go that deep either. Really, this is more for surface level nose hair. I wouldn't usually go too deep. A little bit more. Okay, guys, so I just use it. Um, you know, it is it is quite common that using this will make you kind of sniffly for a second. You may have to sneeze, and that's normal because you're really pulling the nose hairs out of your nose. So, you know, if you use this product and you experience some, like, kind of, like, not pain, but some, like, uh, some sensitivity or a little uh, itchiness, that, that just means you kind of went too rough on there. You kind of press it against the wall too much. You have to be very gentle though. With any nose trimmer, especially your first one, you, you need to understand, you need to be pretty gentle with it and kind of listen to it. Make sure you should hear it shredding the, the, the hairs out. Whether you're deep in there or not, you should hear it. That's how you know if you still have more left. And when you're done, you're gonna take this, guys, you kind of wipe it off like this and you'll be good to go. And when you're ready to travel, guys, you're gonna take the cover for it and you're gonna put it in right here. 
like that. So after the, I've been using this product for the past week now, and I can tell you in my experience, it seems like it has done a pretty good job. I don't see as many hairs coming out of my nose anymore. I don't have that sensitivity anymore, like the uh, the tickly sensation that my nose hairs are tickling me or making me uh, sniffly or stuff like that. So it really did do it. Really did a great job there. Yes, I, I had a little bit of sensitivity because that was my first time using it. I did kind of press it against the walls of my nose. But after I got used to that, after my first time of using it, I've had nothing but good things since then, guys. And for only $12, I mean, you really can't expect much. But honestly, this pretty much does the job. You don't need to go any more crazy than this unless you really need more features. I'm sure the most expensive ones will probably have a rechargeable battery, or maybe the more expensive ones won't make your nose sensitive if you press it against the walls. I'm sure for more micro touches, like deeper into, you may want to use one more money. But just for your basic nose hair trimmer that takes care of the majority of the surface level hairs in your nose, kind of the ones you can see when you look up at your nose, the ones right here, um, and, and a little bit deeper as well. So for all your surface level hair needs, I know this is kind of a weird topic, but you know what? This product will completely do the job that you needed to do. So I do recommend it, guys. The Amazon link will be down below. Make sure you check it out, guys. Make sure you buy that link. Make sure you buy this product with the Amazon link. That supports me. You can also buy anything else on Amazon while you're going shopping, and you can use my link, and that supports me as well. I don't have any ads in my YouTube videos. Monetization has been disabled for me, so I would appreciate it if you could maybe check that Amazon link out and use it for Amazon shopping and stuff like that. I would appreciate it. Other than that, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, favorite, put on the notification bell, and turn off the app block. All that stuff really helps me out, guys. And you can become a paid member of the channel if you want. You can see this video and all my videos for free and first there as well. Or you can actually see my videos on my website, pbosonline.com. And the same thing, you get all those videos for free with no ads forever. Let me just say that, that's the difference between the the paid thing and this, is the, the website will give you free ads forever. The monetization thing or the, uh, the premium thing, God knows what YouTube will do in the future. Maybe they'll get rid of that program in the future. Although then you won't be charged anymore, so it kind of evens out. But my website or the paid membership, is they're both good things to do to accomplish what we're trying to accomplish here. So we really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let me know how you think about this down below. And thank you, bye.